Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Anna and it's been a while since I've recorded anything. Um, I got married in France. Well, we had our like proper wedding ceremony thing in France and then we moved. So I'm in a new flat now. Um, so I just have been quite busy and haven't really prioritized filming. So I'm sorry, but um, yeah, I'm back with another video and we're doing a taste test. So I wanted to do like a part two of trying British snacks. Um, I wanted to try things that I've never tried before that are made by British brands. Um, and so yeah, let's get into it. First up, we have roasted smoky flavor almonds from Sainsbury. I'm assuming this will be pretty straightforward, but I love anything smoked. Like I love mezcal, which is like smoky tequila. And I love like smoky tofu. And yeah, I just love the taste of smoke. So I'm sure I like these. Mmm. Oh yeah, these are good. As expected. Pretty good. 9 out of 10. Continuing on with the almond trend, we have a sweet version. Forest Feast chocolate covered almonds. Sea salt. Salted dark chocolate almonds, sorry. And it's made by a company called... Kestrel... Kestrel Foods. Oh, it smells good. Okay, they look like this. Mmm. Whoa, that's good. If you like dark chocolate, you'll like this. I really like it. I'll give it a 10. Honestly, it's really good. Okay, next we have a wild card. I've never seen this brand or product in my life. It's Kimberly Biscuits, like Oreo type things, from a brand called Boland. Oh, maybe it, this is Irish. So not exactly British, but kind of. I mean, I feel like, yeah, it's quite political, but in the vicinity of the UK. Okay, whoa. Oh my god, you can like see the sugar. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's like literal sugar bits on it. This looks very intense and very unhealthy. So one cookie, two cookies have 10 grams of sugar. So actually not as bad as you would think. Huh. Okay. Probably less than an Oreo. Oh. It's like a marshmallow inside. They describe this ginger flavored biscuits with a mallow center sprinkled with sugar. It is exactly how it's described. The ginger cookie is pretty good. Oh. So it's not certified vegan, I think, but there's no animal product, which is surprising because it's like a marshmallow, but. It's better than I expected, but definitely would not buy again. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather just have a regular ginger cookie, I think. Then we have proper corn caramelized biscuit flavored. I'm very excited. I haven't seen this flavor yet. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my God. Mmm. It's very subtle flavor. It's not overly sweet. It's pretty good. Would buy again. Next up, we have Tasty Mates Peaches and Cream Gummies. I've been craving gummies lately, so I'm very excited. Hopefully they don't taste too artificial, but it's from a brand, yeah, Tasty Mates. smells so sweet oh. oh my god oh they're little like characters so cute what are they supposed to be they're good i guess they're supposed to be this 
little people. Oh my god. This reminds me of something like a Japanese drink. Joseph? Uh -huh. Can we try this? Oh, it's very really soft. It's very sweet too, right? Oh, I like it. You like it? Mm. Doesn't it remind you of something from Japan? No? Not really. Okay, never mind. It's just me. Mm. Mm. Okay. Seems like they were more of a hit with Joseph than with me, so maybe I'll give them to him because they're a bit too sweet for me. All right. Next, let's do these Fairfield Farm cheese and onion. Yeah, and somehow it's vegan, even though there's it's cheese flavored. So, very curious. It doesn't smell too strong. Whoa, that's good. It definitely do tastes cheesy, but more than anything i like the texture it's very crispy the flavor like the cheese flavor is not so overpowering and, and it doesn't taste too fake either i like it good one and next we have one that i'm very very excited about it is the hippies collaboration with this this brand and i love this brand <laughs> not this brand this brand um they make like fake chicken and fake bacon and it's really good um and yeah i'm really excited to see that they're collabing with hip peas it's supposed to taste like the this isn't smoky bacon i don't know how i feel about the smell okay let's try it I know I said I like smoky flavor, but like, I don't know why smoky bacon flavor, like never is not so appealing to me. I don't know. I don't love it. I don't think I would buy this again. Okay, last but not least, we have Hip Oat Milk Chocolate. I love this brand of chocolate. So good. The founder of this brand is actually related to the Cadbury chocolate family. So, fun fact. Um, it looks like this is just their normal flavor, which maybe I've had before, I'm not sure. I've definitely had like their cookies and cream and their pretzel flavor. I don't know if I've had their plain flavor. Not bad. Mmm. It is indeed very creamy and smooth. Like it promises. I like it a lot. It's not too sweet, but it's definitely sweet enough. Would buy again. So out of all of the ones I tried today, the ones I would buy again, this, the chocolate covered almonds, the smoky almonds, There's a lot. The popcorn and the crisps. And then the ones I wouldn't probably buy again are these ginger things, the gummies, and then the hip peas with this isn't smoky bacon. Sadly. Thank you guys for watching this taste test. I am working to put together some sort of vlog of the last few weeks of my life that I haven't that I haven't showed you guys. Um, I don't know how good it's gonna be because I've just not been very consistent with like actually recording things. Um, so it might be kind of like a random vlog, but hopefully I get that out soon. But thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe if you're not subscribed and comment down below what you thought and if you have any ideas for a future video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!